Okay. What you are looking at is my Laceous Neo Niger colony. And you can see there was an orange ant born in this colony. Now, I believe this is a Laceous Clabiger worker. Okay, and what happened was is I had nine parasitic queen ants nine Laceous clavigers and what I did was I introduced each one of those parasitic queen ants to some of these workers to some of these larvae and to some of these uh, pupae from this colony and uh, I found all nine of those queens in October 2016 so I did I did the introduction to all of them then in November I uh, started hibernation. In April 2017, I took them out of hibernation, and uh, they all survived, all nine of them, and uh, they were all doing okay, but I still hadn't seen uh, anyone lay any eggs. So after a month, uh, I was actually getting tired of uh, taking care of these nine parasitic queen ants that were in test tube setups. Uh, by this time, I had had them for seven months. And uh, I was feeding them weekly, giving them sugar water uh, weekly, and uh, no eggs. Like every, every, I looked every single day after they came out of hibernation, I didn't see any eggs. So I, I gave up, and uh, what I did was uh, I scooped up all the larvae and all the, all the pupae, and uh, I returned them back to this queen, back to this Laceous Neo Niger queen. All the parasitic queen ants, I released them outside. And uh, so now this is two months later, and this ant was just born a couple days ago. So it looks like what happened is is one of the parasitic queen ants uh, laid an egg or two, which I didn't see. And in the process of me dumping the larvae back to this queen, I must have dumped the uh, Laceous claviger egg in there as well. So I'm not sure if uh, this guy hatched a couple days ago, and uh, at, at first I was like, I don't know, maybe it's just a weird color when, when it was first uh, when it first emerged out out of the pupae, and uh, you know it'll darken up like like the rest. But now two days later, you can see this guy's bright orange compared to these workers. So we know for sure it's not one it's not one of these workers. I mean, I don't know 100% sure like is it possible for ants this could be some sort of mutated ant that's orange for some reason. But it looks like one of the queens that I released laid an egg. So that means that I did I was successful in, in, in founding a parasitic queen ant colony which I'm not even sure uh, has ever been done before and part of the reason it's never been done before is in total for, the, for this ant to, uh, to emerge out of the pupae took nine months from capture so it could uh, quite possibly be that no one has put nine months of work into a Laceous Claviger parasite queen ant, and that's why uh, it's never worked for anyone else. But uh, I'm kicking myself now for releasing those queens. I mean, I cannot believe there was that queen laid eggs, and I didn't see. I couldn't see. Like I looked and I looked every single day. All I saw was larvae. But it's like, what, the queen laid one egg? You know, and like... The strange thing is, is that this this Laceous queen lost all her workers, all her larvae, all her pupae during uh, hibernation. 
Okay, you can check out uh, my no another video called uh, Laceus Neo Niger Colony Fail. I took her out of hibernation. Everything was dead. She was just barely, barely clinging to life. And that was another reason why I, I uh, abandoned the uh, parasitic queens is so I could give her back all of her larvae and, and boost her, get her going again. But, so, these are all fresh workers. Like, you can see, like... That guy was just born. Here, here's some uh, couple of white workers just born. Th these are are transparent too. Like the oldest these workers are are uh, a few days. So I find it kind of strange too that this orange I worker. I find it kind of weird that the orange worker was born like at the exact same time as all these other workers. Like all these pupae that you see here, they're all going to be born within within a few days. So like all all of these ants have been born with between like five six days except except for about five of them. So that's why like uh, most of these ants here are like translucent, right? This guy right here, this guy, you know, even even that guy a bit, right? So it seems strange to me that This is a, a different species of ant, you know. It was born at the exact same time as the rest of these. That's why I'm kind of wondering, you know, maybe it's a one-off. You know, maybe maybe it's just an orange ant that was born in this Laceus neo niger. If any of you guys have a Laceus neo niger colonies and, you, and you've ever seen an off-colored ant like this, let me know. And uh, if not, then... That means it's a it's a parasitic worker ant, and uh, I threw out a a colony. I could have had a colony, a parasitic Laceus claviger colony, and uh, maybe the only one that's ever ever been uh, done in North America. And uh, I I released the queen. Got one egg out of her, released her. She probably ended up getting eating or dying or something. You know, seven months of work, nine months if if you count the two months this thing took to uh, to hatch. You know, nine months of work gone. But uh, well, there could there could be more of these orange workers too, like some of these pupae. More orange workers could could come out of these and. Uh, If that's the case, I'll, I'll post another video of the more workers. And uh, one interesting thing is, I'll definitely be able to tell the uh, life, the life expectancy of this ant, because it's going to be the only orange ant in the colony, and uh, I'll know the day that it that it drops dead. So I'll be able to see, you know, exactly how long an ant lives, because. I don't know. I, I have three colonies, and and I don't even really know. You know, I see I see dead ants, but uh, you can never really tell how how long they live for. I know I have a harvester ant, and I've had workers there that that have lived for a year. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how how long this guy uh, stays around for. All right, guys, see it.